Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Hey, I apologize. This video is just a little bit later than normal. I had a bit of a computer snafu with a Windows update, so I apologize. So how about we just get right to it and let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, what we see in this market is just um, a slew of uncertainties. The market just doesn't know exactly what to do with, it, with itself. We are certainly in an oversold condition on the short term, but we have currency fluctuations creating a major um, problems for um, other uh, other economies around the world um, all of these uncertainties kind of plaguing the market at the moment and um, yesterday we gapped down rallied up and then went right back down um, um, breaking some lows on the day and just adding um, uh, more complexity to this market with all of the data coming our way and geopolitical uncertainties out there markets just not sure what to do with itself and it's pretty understandable um, let's take a look um, right here as you can see we've broken down through new lows obviously um, trend um, continues to stay uh, very very bearish we are overextended in the short term to the downside and we should be watching for a relief rally and probably you're noticing this morning that a pretty substantial gap up open is expected here um, today so watch that we're getting this overnight reversal but there may be things that we have to question in, um, in this chart and be um, watching carefully because of the data coming our way today and just a blizzard of fed and talking head double speak so who knows um, how this will end up for today but notice right in here we've got some price resistance we're pushing right up into that little price resistance on the gap up open and if we can push through there then we're going to look for a more significant level of price resistance and downtrend here in this chart now clearly our technicals on these charts are very very bearish and i'm not going to go through all of the indexes here today on the technical just because we I am short on time but if you notice here on this uh, daily chart we have our 200 day moving average rapidly approaching a crossover of the 500 day moving average we are extremely extended away from that 50 day moving average we're just a market of extremes right now when we rally we do it in an extreme right way when we fall we do it in an extreme way there's just so much speculation continuing in this market um, we're getting these massive moves um, and overdoing just about everything and then if we look at this weekly well there may be reason for some hope of a bounce because we're pushing down we've pushed down yesterday through that 200 day or 200 weekly and trying to bounce up and we'll see um, that we have the QQQ on this weekly is trying to hold that support and the SPY is trying to hold just above that 200 weekly so maybe that little bit of hope that we may get um, some relief rally but if we take a look at those dailies here in the chart certainly very very bearish on the um, SPY um, any bounce back up we're going to want to be watching these resistance levels and I think the these resistance levels could e um, easily set up just more short trading activity in the market because we've got a lot of work to do to start repairing some of the uh, the situations here in these worldwide economies um, and let alone ours that continues to weaken so watch that close and then of course our QQQ very much a similar situation but the good news here in the Nasdaq is that we've held on to this price support so we may get a little bit more um, lift in this if we can get uh, the bulls to engage here in the market but I wouldn't just run into this blindly thinking that the all clear is here simply because we've got massive resistance levels above 
we have so many uncertainties coming our way in the data um, yet this week. And then if we look at our IWM, IWM certainly pretty ugly yesterday. Um, pushed on down here to the lows, made a new closing low. Um, obviously very, very bearish in this chart, um, but the good news is we're kind of trying to hang in there on that price support and maybe we can catch that relief rally. But if we do, boy, we've got lots of resistance here above that could um, restrict, restrict us from moving on higher. So watch carefully as we rally into those resistance areas for entrenched bears ready to fight back. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX shot up here at the end of the day yesterday with that selling coming in. We're up here around 32 hands. Handles. Now that's a pretty steep extension here in the VIX without having a major capitulation in the market. So let's keep an eye on this area in here as we push up. This will be the area right in here. If we break above here, I think there'll be a major change in the temperament of the um, market sentiment and we would likely see institutional machines really starting to sell off pretty hard. Remember mom and pop investor in 401ks and mutual funds are watching this closely and they're at that point where panic could begin at any time if we start to spike um, higher and then we get forced redemptions in um, uh, in the market because the institutional machines just will be required to sell to provide folks their money. So watch that closely um, as we continue um, this move up. Keeping in mind that we are extended in the short term and maybe a rest or pullback um, is um, overdue and I believe it is in the price action of the chart here in the VIX. If we pulled back into here or rested back, um, that won't fix much, but it would certainly relieve the pressure and we could certainly pull all the way back here as well. We'll wanna watch that. Uh, closely. And then if we take a look at our T21, whoops, uh, T2122, and we take a look at that, boy, our T2122, uh, well, we've got some get the right uh, chart here. T2122, we've got a very, very oversold condition in this chart, as you can see, um, down here, scraping our belly on the bottom of the ocean, which would suggest a relief rally should be right around the corner, if not already here this morning. So watch carefully for that, but I would expect price action to be um, very, very challenging. Look for um, big potential moves, big point moves, and potential whipsaws as the data comes out today and we get all this Fed speak that seems to be uh, flip-flopping all over the place this morning. So watch that close. So if we start to spike up, don't rule out the possibility of some big intraday moves. So if you do plan to trade this, make sure you have the tenacity to be able to hold through some pretty fast and and some pretty big whips that could occur in the market due to the uncertainties that continue to plague us here. But I would hope that we would get um, a significant um, relief in this. And that's probably going to be the place where I'm going to add on more short positions. So watch carefully for that potential. And then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108, you know, pretty bearish here. You can see we're down here in 12% uh, of our stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. But the good news is we hadn't broken the lows here. And if we pull this back, um, notice that we could still go further for the pandemic lows if we cannot hold. So don't rule out the possibility that we can't go lower, but I would be looking for a little bit of relief rally here soon to relieve some of that pressure. That's not going to make us a bullish market, but it would certainly be a nice bounce um, to relieve some of that selling here in the market. And our T2107, uh, very much the same situation. 16, 17% of the stocks holding above their 200 day 
pretty tough to build a bullish case off of that. But you'll want to note that we haven't taken out the lows here in June and July. So that gives us that little hope if we can bounce, maybe we can rally back up into here, test some resistance levels in this chart and relieve some of that pressure. Our T2101 at the close of the day yesterday just continued to show us the momentum of the bears here in the market that did not shift um, at the end of the day. So remember, we're whipsawing or reversing here this morning. We have to re uh, keep in mind those bears are not likely to give up easy and there uh, could easily be more whipsaws back to the downside. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar boy we have a an interesting one today with a blizzard of Fed speak that's going on here this morning. We've got Evans coming out uh, flip-flopping here saying eh, he's worried that maybe we're pushing too hard on the interest rate increases, um, creating more confusion and uncertainty in the market as the rest of the speakers keep coming out and saying, nope, we're on path. We're doing what we're supposed to do. And then we've got durable goods orders um, here this morning. That's a market moving report. We'll want to keep an eye on that and uh, consensus is looking for that to decline. Case Schiller, our housing price index, that's going to be important as well. We know that builders are starting to lower those prices. Um, that's a bearish sign for the market, so keep an eye on that. Consumer confidence. Pretty hard to believe that consumer confidence may be moving up, but according to the consensus number, they're suggesting consumer confidence is increasing. We'll see how that plays out later on this morning. And then, of course, new home sales. We've been seeing a lot of problems in that housing market, and new home sales by consensus are suggesting that to decline. So as much as we have this bullish move happening here this morning um, in the pre-market, just keep in mind these numbers could whipsaw us dramatically and then as you plan forward we've got international trading goods we've got those mortgage applications that continue to be a problem pending home sales we got more fed speak from jerome powell and you know just a, a blizzard of, of fed speakers and that's going to line us up for thursday's gdp and jobless claims number so oh my goodness we have a uh, a week full of data that can move us around substantially let's take a look at our earnings calendar now on the earnings front we have a little bit busier day today with a few notables yesterday was pretty darn slow but today we have a few notables I'm going to go over those really quick um, take a look at um, Blackberry uh, reporting today watch that carefully obviously very bearish chart so um, wouldn't expect this is going to change its color um, here really quickly and suddenly turn bullish but you never know so keep a keep an eye on that um, we've got some food companies like CLAM these this is a very very bullish chart moving to the upside we know food is becoming a very interesting sector of the market with um, food shortages um, expected on the way so watch that close that could be interesting here uh, today um, interesting um, also is UNFI is completely on the other side of things as a food distribution but um, getting a nice gap up here this morning Morning on its earnings report. We're going to hear from uh, JBL. JBL will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. Um, NEOG and PRG. Type this right. Uh, PRGS also reporting today. Those are the notables that I've come up with for today. Let's take a look at some uh, stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you can do me that quick favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and then also um, um, click those um, uh, buttons to um, um, subscribe to the channel that helps a ton you know um, we're growing closer and closer and closer to 29,000 um, in subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. I never would have expected we um, um, see that many folks interested in this kind of content. So thank you so much. Thank you also for those folks who continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee in that link just below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. And please, guys, always feel free to share these videos out there on your social media feed. That helps the channel to continue 
continue to grow as well. And I want to thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Let's take a quick look here at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, we're going to have to be really, really careful um, in these trades um, because of the volatility of the market. Now, a couple of places that I see some extremes, you might want to keep an eye on UUP. Now, UUP, you can see we got an interesting candle here in the pre-market. I think there's some bad data in there. But if you watch that closely, at some point in time, we're, we could see um, UUP starting to pull back and we had bond yields pulling back just a little bit this morning so today might be that day um, you're gonna have to take some risk on a trade like that but if we start seeing the dollar pull back then you might want to start looking at some of the commodity stocks to rally um, we've had pretty ugly selling here in the energy sector uh, just all of a sudden due to the strength of the dollar and if the dollar starts to fall look for for commodities to move up look for gold silver energy stocks look for food based stocks to start moving higher if the dollar starts to weaken now i don't know if that's going to be today or uh, you know weeks or months from now but we want to start watching for that potential um, in those charts you might also keep a close eye on um, this inverse the tlt um, uh, position because if bond yields are going to pull back then we might start seeing a TLT pop up here to the upside. Other places that um, were kind of interesting yesterday, um, take a look at stocks like Costco. Big bounce up yesterday. Not ready for prime time for me. We're still got to get out of this downtrend and see if we can hold in here before I'd be interested. But we saw some movement in some of those retail stocks like Costco, uh, WMT, uh, Target, trying to push back up just a little bit um in um, these charts trying to show that hey the consumers are still out there spending so watch those closely other places that you could look i think some of tech is oversold in the short term and we had a nice little bounce coming up here so if you're a really quick trader look for those bounces that can move us back into price resistance and downtrend areas of the chart that'd be the next opportunity to short but if you're quick on the trigger here and can follow some of those those might be looking for a little bit of a relief rally and with qqq holding on to that 200 weekly support we might get a little bit more follow through on it than maybe some of the other indexes so watch watch that closely um, of course um, apple has held up pretty well um, overall considering the other indexes out there you'll want to watch that if this actually holds in here and breaks above that higher uh, that downtrend and holds a higher low then hey Apple may have more upside in it but I would be watching stocks like Microsoft for that quick upside rally and then I think they set up or will likely set up for more short side um, uh, down so watch watch that carefully so everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it apologize i was running so fast here and a little bit late um, by the way just a quick reminder i'm going to be doing a public e-learning tonight come on over to the right way options excuse me the hit, hit and run candlesticks website and you'll come into the free room go to the free room that's listed right there there's a button right on the top of the of the website page come on over and uh, we're going to be talking about this bear market and how you can profit like we've been profiting in right way options on this bear market um, and participate in that downside move if it were to continue so with that everyone i hope to see you tonight at 8 p.m eastern and i will um, catch you all everyone else bright and early tomorrow morning i wish you all the best today